In this video, we will discuss what revenue accounts in Office R&D are, what their purpose is, and how to configure and use them. Let's start by explaining what a revenue account stands for. Your monthly revenue usually comes from multiple revenue sources such as desk and office rentals, meeting room bookings, or one-off services. In order to keep better track of your revenue, you can separate it into different categories, and those would be your revenue accounts. How should you do that? Navigate to Settings, Billing, Accounts, and there you will find four predefined default revenue accounts, booking fees, deposits, membership fees, and one-off fees. You can also add new revenue accounts by using the Add Account at the top right corner in case you'd like to distinguish between even more revenue streams. You can edit the default and add additional revenue accounts by clicking on the gear cogwheel. Please note that we do not recommend editing the default accounts for deposits and one-off fees, as they are linked in, the, in a more specific way to the system functionalities. Instead, we'd advise that you create a new account and not use the default ones if they do not match your accounting model. You can also delete revenue accounts. Please note that this section is not possible for the default revenue accounts. You can distinguish the default revenue accounts from the rest of them by having a padlock icon next to their name, as seen here. When you edit or add a new revenue account, a pop-up window will appear where you can configure the following sections. Name, the name with which the revenue account will appear. Unique code, this field can remain empty. It can be used for specific tasks like invoice export if your accounting system does not integrate with Office R&D. Description. A description of the account for your admin team. Default for. This field will appear only for default revenue accounts. In the field, you'll be able to see the item for which the account is created. Bookings, fees, etc. Color. This is the color with which the account of the service will appear in the system. For example, when you check out your billing plans, you'll be able to see the revenue account that is associated with it and its color, as seen here. Tax rate. From the drop-down menu, you can select the tax rate that will be applied to the new account. Before a tax can be selected, it has to be created under Settings, Billing, Tax Rates. Finally, click on the Add button if you're adding a new account or on Update if you're editing an existing account. The last step you need to take is to link your services to the corresponding revenue accounts. Let's, let's explain how to do this for your billing plans first. Navigate to Billing, Plans. Next to each billing plan, you'll be able to see a label that indicates which revenue account is used for this service. If you need to change it, click on the cogwheel next to the billing plan name to edit it. Select the Advanced tab, and then in the Accounts field, select which is the correct revenue account for the, from the drop-down list. Once you're ready, don't forget to hit the Update button to save your changes. Now, let's take a look at how this works for your resource rates. Navigate to Billing, Resource Rates, and open a resource rate that you'd like to update. Under the Advanced tab, you can again use the Accounts field to define which revenue account should be used. In case you've got multiple rooms that use the same resource rate, but let's say one of them will have a different revenue account, you'll need to create a new resource rate for them with the corresponding revenue account. You can take a look at our video guide on how to add meeting rooms to learn more about creating resource rates and mapping them to a meeting room. And now your revenue accounts are successfully configured and linked to the services you offer. If you need more information on your revenue accounts, please check out our knowledge base at help.officerd.com or reach out to support at officerd.com to get further assistance.